Anyway. Hi Ooh. there. <laughs> Might as well get going here. It's late. Hi there. <laughs> Happy uh, Wednesday. Thursday. What? Hi there. Okay. Happy Thursday. September 17th, 2020. I'm Eric talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where good. I didn't want to see the bottom half of your faces anyway. What? <laughs> Glad we're wearing masks. <laughs> okay. Not, not was... interested in the bottom halves of anybody's face. Chins are overrated. Exactly. <laughs> you just offended a whole bunch of Chinese people, I'm sure. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> or I just did. Either way. Hi, Thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, telling your friends. Thanks for emailing. We like your emails and your likes and your uh, and your friendsings and whatever you call it, followings and all that stuff. Do that for us. That's important. Means the world to us. Uh, Apple Podcast means nothing to me. You can go review us there if you want to. I don't care anymore. I've learned that they mean nothing. Yep. Uh, so that's that. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in. I got very little in the way of information for you guys today. I had a very busy day. Um, here's one interesting fact to kick the show off with. That crazy bitch who got me fired is now claiming to be pregnant with my child and living with me. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't get I, I fucking hell. Love that this is still going on. Um, I love that for uh, when I was first told this information last night, it took me hours to remember her name. <laughs> so that's how, that's how much I've thought about her. But apparently she's been thinking about me. So that's good. I've, I've got an illegitimate child being born in, in Vancouver with, to a crazy woman. That you're living, not living with. <laughs> Which... Uh, it's all fine by me. I applied for the child tax credit for it today, so. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Hopefully I should be getting some money from Justin for my children. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I could probably up the ante and go for the disabled one once the kid's born. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> just, just guessing but something's going to be wrong with it no it, it ain't going to be normal that's for sure <laughs> if she's if she's even pregnant I don't know I oh. apparently she doesn't know that I'm in Kelowna because her, her lie isn't going very far with a lot of people in Vancouver because <laughs> anyone who knows me or matters to me knows that I'm in Kelowna. So. I mean, like, if you're going to gonna make an outrageous claim like this, you think you would at least say, I don't know, listen to one of the podcast episodes where every day you say what town you're in? <laughs> oh, no, she would never think of something like that. <laughs> I mean, like, holy shit. <laughs> Like, I'd love to see that one come into court where they want to say, do you have any proof of where you live? Yeah. Do you want to listen to one of our <laughs> last hundred episodes? <laughs> it's pretty clear. Um, no, she wouldn't do that. And, and that's why we got along so well, because her yeah. lies were just extraordinary. <laughs> like, she just doesn't think th th think them through. Just you have to... In. You have to just not, if you're going to be a liar, you, you have to assume people are smarter than you and, and work it that way. You can't assume people are dumb. Yeah. You um, have to lie about something that can't be proven. That's, that's how you get away with it. Or at least know your facts enough to, you know, like she, she tried to tell me that her daughter was in a car accident. Yeah, and she was just, she was just getting an X-ray, and then like twenty minutes later, she's like, "Okay, she got her X-ray, and she's out of the hospital." I'm like, "No, no, she did not." That's not even possible. It's a, it's a minimum three hours always. <laughs> it takes them an hour to get the results back to the radiologist because the radiologist doesn't actually read the results. <laughs> like, just figure it out anyway. <laughs> Enough bitching about that. Just kids, if you're gonna make up lies about me, make them more entertaining. Sort of close to factual. And send them to me first. I won't tell anyone their lies if they're cool. Um, yeah. yeah, no, if, if they've got a good backstory to it and everything else, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll support that. 
<laughs> That's why I, everyone wants to be pregnant with my kid. Because the last time there was a rumor like this was that uh, I was paying for a woman to live in Vancouver. Back when I was living in Calgary, I was paying a woman to stay in Vancouver to not tell my wife that I had gotten her pregnant. And I was paying <laughs> for and stuff. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's like Jesus. I wish I had that kind of money, right? <laughs> Fake me is is doing better than real me. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> the hell. Um, that was a good one. I like that one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, send me your your rumors and lies about me. Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail dot com or or emails about the show. Send us interesting facts you want us to talk about. That'd be cool. Yeah, and I'll have some more news for you guys over the weekend. Just uh, today was not a good news day for me. I'm pretty sure nothing happened. I assume when I don't pay attention to the news, it's because nothing happened. <laughs> oh, it's just the only big thing that's come out in the news in the last couple of days is they uh, there's another new symptom uh, for COVID. Yeah, fuck off. You'll you'll love this. Do you want to do you want to know what it is? This is be, before you get the sniffles, the headache, the fever. Before any of that stuff comes, there is one thing that they noticed that is that 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 is um, common. Out of 126 people, it was common with nine of them. Um, that's uh, you you get a stroke. Now <laughs> you thought it was one person? <laughs> I thought it was a dude named Hall and Oates. <laughs> Daryl Hall and John Oates. <laughs> That's too good. Oh, I'm oh, really oh. sad that I knew that. <laughs> I, was just, I was thinking about the Cure episode last night and then that made me re- remember that, yeah, when I was young. <laughs> that, that Hall and Oates, he's a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> he's really good almost sounds like the two of them it's very impressive <laughs> I always um, one thing I always say about that band is I mean not that they had a whole bunch of hits in the 80s and shit it was their not just song but they, they did um, for Christmas they did a Jingle Bell Rock and the video for it is one of the just the oh my god it's just it's, it's an atrocity for videos it's so it's like the definition of like a sellout almost in that sense like well, you're all wearing the, was. but it, this takes it to a whole new level if you've never seen the video fucking go up on fucking whatever youtube or whatever and just haul and oats fucking um uh whatever rocking christmas whatever the fuck it's called just just watch this shit it is it's just horrifically bad they're just it's just oh god it's so what? bad it's amazing it's one thing I appreciated about the 80s. There was no such thing as selling out. It was just make as much fucking money as you could. That was the whole point of being alive. That's right. Yeah. Need to feed my coke habit. That was the 80s. <laughs> there was no, none of this selling out crap. It was just make money quick. That's right. <laughs> and I selling out didn't even become a real thing until like when um, when rap started getting big. That's when selling out. You know, when you had people like like um, like MC Hammer um, mainly uh, and like Vanilla Ice, those were considered the sellouts uh, because they weren't screwed to the to the street. You know, nobody in like rock or anything else, nobody, you know, selling out just didn't really exist. It wasn't until, yeah, rap made it a big deal. So, yes. Thank you, rap. (laughs) I guess. (laughs) 
I, I don't know that it's selling out just because you deliver pizzas in a Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> that, that didn't lend Ice the cred he was looking for? Yeah, not quite. <laughs> in the Ninja Turtles sequel? <laughs> that nobody liked and watched? <laughs> oh, it's too good. Oh, man. Um... Um, interesting little. I just we're gonna we're gonna start our easy. And we'll make our way up to this one. Um, uh, artificial banana flavoring. Okay, so think back to when we were kids, Eric, when we had that banana flavored fucking cold medicine. Yeah, that was like just awesome as a child. I love that shit. Um, interesting thing about that one is the reason why it doesn't taste like bananas because it actually doesn't it's it's called banana but it's just kind of like a pale yellow color but the reason why it doesn't taste like banana is because it was based on a specific type of banana that was wiped out by the plague <laughs> sure <laughs> fuck all right <laughs> that's just sort of interesting <laughs> that's um, an old banana that yeah that's, that's an old banana um uh Australia has over 10,000 beaches. That's sure. a lot of fucking beaches. So you could literally visit a new beach every day for 27 years. I got I got uh I got a secret for you guys. It's all one beach, same beach. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's just got pockets of land around it. <laughs> Not sure if y'all do that. Just one beach. You can uh, say it's 10,000 if you want, yeah. but it's just one. Just, one. just goes in a big circle around the outside of the country there. <laughs> just before the water. That's where you usually find it. It's usually it, yeah. Where you find beach, chances are you're going to find fucking water. Just They tend to go Actually, together. That's right. <laughs> Although nothing would shock me in Australia. No. <laughs> Do you know Waterloo. who advised Johnny Depp to pursue a career in acting? Uh, the banana flavored lady. I don't know. No, I don't. Nicol- Nicholas Cage. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Dude, you should totally do it. You don't even have to pay taxes or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He was not correct about that. No, he was not. Wesley Snipes <laughs> found that out. <laughs> he was uh, at the same party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listening to the same dude talk. <laughs> that party where Nicholas Cage lied to everybody. It's a terrible <laughs> party. Fucking Nick. <laughs> um, there's an Alaskan town called Takinta uh, Tok- is the name of it. And the interesting thing is, is now they've had the same mayor. Since Just July. so everyone knows, the name of that town is Taquito from now on. That's it. <laughs> Taquito. <laughs> well, the name the, this town has had the same mayor since July of 1997. And then what's interesting about this is that the mayor's name is Stubbs, and Stubbs is a cat. Yeah, I know about Stubbs. That's an interesting one. Um, yeah. Did you know that the, only yeah. in the sense that it really disturbs me, and it's uh, <laughs> well, it, that's just one more reason of why America is where it is. It proves how useless fucking <laughs> government is. It just proves it right there. <laughs> it proves how retarded we are in not taking our politics seriously and letting it get to the state that it's in. Yeah. Um, I get the point they were trying to make in doing it, but the counterpoint to that is you're making a mockery out of democracy and it's ridiculous and it shouldn't happen. But some people don't take it seriously, like me. Yes. Or like the entire town of what do we call it again? Tokido. <laughs> Tokido. <laughs> um you know that the uh, now this I, I I I would like to fact check this and see if I haven't had a chance to fact check this, but I just find this an interesting fact. Uh, the Nazis were the first ever people in modern history to start an anti-smoking and tobacco movement. That uh, could be true. I could I mean I can partially see that I could kind of see that as being true, but a little interesting thing there. Uh, still doesn't matter. They were Nazis, so good, yeah. great, whatever. You're still Nazis. <laughs> You're still Nazis. You still suck. 
I don't um, care if you cured cancer. You were fucking Nazi. <laughs> <You're> so. Nazi. 